What's up guys, Gun Truckers back with another review from the grandfather's house. As nothing fancy always said, you got to have a good 22. Well this is my grandfather's 22 that was handed down from his grandfather. Uh, I guess I should have checked the brand before I did this, but uh, really quick, the weapon has already been safety checked. Notice the bolt's back, no round is in the breech. And just to confirm that, let me pull up my flashlight here. I'm running my so greatly used Olight. Uh, my breech, my uh, bolt is really loose. I just lubed them up here. There is no round in the breech, so we are good to go on that. Uh, what brand is it? This is a... Let me turn it around here, guys. Why don't you look at the great scenery while I find out? Yep. It is a... Iver Johnson's arm and cycle wood, I believe. My post sights are in the way. 22, single shot, bolt action, rear safety released weapon with a solid wood stock, brass back plate, of course. Man, you know, if I would love to have this at my house so I could teach my two nieces and my nephew. You know, they're getting to that age. My niece just turned 10 a little bit ago. I would love to have her start shooting and learn. You know, th this is the weapon, guys. It's small. You know, for my hand, it's a little bit small. That's just about right, actually. So, but for a single shot, guys, that's where you got to start. You can't just hand them that semi-auto 10-22 Ruger with a 50-round clip and let them go to town. I mean, once in a while, yeah, that's cool and all, but sometimes you got to bring it back to true basics and fundamentals of using your sights, which on this rifle are, let me depress my safety and swing it around into the light here. My camera will take a second. A rear, a front bead sight on a post, sort of like a shotgun, but it's raised up with like a half moon rear sight with a notch cut out of it. Now my safety is depressed, as you notice it's right here. You cannot turn, I don't believe, yeah, you can't turn the safety back on on this gun, but pull it and it pops back up, or pops forward, I'm sorry, that's actually your uh, firing pin. Then, if I can shoulder the weapon and try and do this, you pull your bolt up and you pull it back, it automatically resets. As you notice, this is now turned off to the side. Well, when I push it back forward, right here, will separate. You know this? It's not breech locked. And now it was turned to the side, but now it's up and down. That's your safety. Release your safety, pull your trigger, and it pops forward, firing your spent brass, or firing your brass. Pull it back. The ejector on this is just a single ring. As you can see, it's sliding back and forth a little bit here. Let me push it back forward. There we go. That little ring right there slides back and forth, pulls your brass out from underneath. You set your brass in there to load it, and then you uh, pull it back. Actually, here, you know what I'll do? I won't fire off the round, but let me slowly walk back over here to my gun cabinet. Grab my box of. Uh, I got a box of. Just grabbed a box of Federal Lightnings. These are really nice rounds. I actually love Federal ammo. Uh, I'm not going to even put a round on the. Uh, in the breach, or I'm going to breach it, but I'm not going to close it because I don't want to risk accidentally firing and really getting the cops on me out here. So, as you notice, that little ring that was out there, you hang it on there, you can push the tip into the breach, and all you do is you close it. I'm not going to go any farther than this. All it does is it pushes it forward, you rotate your bolt down, lock the gun, release safety, pull the trigger, and you're good to go. I'm going to get that out of there before I forget it. As you notice, the gun is now empty again, so I can close it, release safety, pull the trigger. I've had this thing shooting, and if someone wants to call it BS on me, that's cool because I'm not going to listen to you. I've had it shooting out to a good 150 yards. Now, that's like shooting it like a damn mortar, but hey, it works. 22, long rifle, stock. There's no upgrades to it, no adjustments. You know, I think we've had the bolt fix when it popped. But, great weapon. All around is a lot of fun. This is Gun Trucker, showing off the best weapons in the world, my grandfather's. Have fun.